Hello, thank you for taking a moment to watch this video. And on this training, we're gonna be talking about workflow rules and how you can use workflow rules to set specific fields within your contact records in Zoho. And more specifically, on this particular training, we're gonna be talking about how you can use a workflow to set the contact status based off of the outcome during a dial session. So if we edit this, you'll see that we have four statuses, new, working, dead, and closed. And we wanna make sure that each of our contacts have the correct call status based off of what the outcome is during a foam burner dial session. So let's go ahead and close out of that. Let's go back to our setup page here. And if you've watched our earlier trainings, you saw me create this foam burner training workflow. If we come in here and edit this, what you'll notice is that this workflow was created to be executed for all calls. Now we don't want to necessarily change the status for every call, we wanna change the status for some calls. And so this one will not work. We don't wanna just add an action to set the status for all calls. So we're actually gonna go back here to our list of workflow rules and we're gonna create a new workflow rule. And once again, this is gonna be based off of the calls module. We'll give it a name and a description and let's go next. When do we want to execute this rule? On an action. When a record is created, once again, once a call activity is created, we want to run this. So let's go to the next option, which is our condition. What is our condition? It's not for all calls. In this case, it's calls matching certain conditions. So in this case, we're going to change this from none to we could use call result or subject. I'm just gonna choose subject. Then we need to choose a parameter here. So none, is, isn't, contains, starts with, ends with. I'm gonna go ahead and do is. Now before we go any further here, let's talk about a couple things here. So first let's go back to our contact. In this case, we've got new, working, dead, or closed. And I'm just gonna play around with working, dead, and closed. So now we need to decide what call outcomes, what dispositions would I need to click on during a dial session to flag this contact status as working. So let's jump over to our phone burner account. Go to our dial session settings, dispositions. And in order for it to become a working lead, I probably have to connect with them. So let's go ahead and go to our live answer set. And let's say for them to become a working lead, they'd need to be interested. And this is what is gonna be sent back to Zoho, the status. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy that status. I'm gonna jump back over to our setup page. So if our subject line is interested, let's go next. We're gonna do a field update on the contacts module. And we're gonna do a new update, give it a name. It's on the contacts module and we are going to update contact status. And we're gonna set the contact status to working. Click on save and associate. Oh, looks like it's not gonna allow me to have those special characters for interested. So let's go ahead and fix that. We're just gonna have a name of working status, interested, and let's save and associate. Now, of course, that is just one of our potential contact statuses. So what about dead? Let's go back to our dial session settings. Let's say do not call becomes dead. Go back to setup. We're gonna add another condition. Subject is Do not call. Next, instant action is gonna be a field update on the contacts module. It is gonna be a new update. Dead status, DNC, contacts, update. Contact status, dead, save and associate. Now our next one, let's go back to flash. We've got closed, go to dial session. Obviously it depends on what your outcomes are. I don't have a closed outcome here. 
So I could create a new button. Save that. So now I have a new button called closed. Let's make sure that that one sets the status to closed in Zoho. So let's go back to our setup page. We're going to add another condition. Subject is closed. Next. Field update. Contacts module, new update. I'll put closed in there twice just to kind of match what I've done with the other ones, but it's on the contacts module. We are updating the status. To closed, save and associate. Now, if we go back to phone burner, we've got this not yet interested option here. We might also want to set not yet interested as dead. So let's go back to our setup page and let's go back to condition two because condition two is already setting the uh, contact status to uh, dead. So we can actually edit this, click on the plus, change that to or, choose subject line. is. Now I don't want to use contains interested because interested is also interested. Not interested and interested both contain interested. So I'm going to go with is not interested. And we're going to go ahead and hit done. And there we go. That gives you a good idea of how you can set the statuses based off of the call outcome from phone burner. So let's go ahead and save this. Once saved, you'll see that it's now active. Let's go back to our contact the flash. Let's do another quick test. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to test our interested outcomes. So we're going to click on they are interested. I'm going to leave this dial session open. Go back to the flash. Refresh the record. Now keep in mind it may take a minute or two before the call gets logged. So you may have to refresh it a few times, but here you can see contact status was set to working after our call of interested was logged in Zoho. Let's go back to our dial session and let's just call that record again. This time we're going to click the not yet interested button. Go back to the record in Zoho. Once again, it may take a minute or two before everything updates, but we're going to go ahead and hit refresh. Not yet interested has been logged. Now let's go ahead and scroll up and see if the contact status has been updated. And there it is, contact status has been updated to dead. Let's go back to our dial session. Call the contact again. Live answer and the call. This time I'm going to click on close. I'm not going to do my do not call one on this particular test because I don't want to actually log any of these numbers as DNC and phone burner. So I'm just going to use the closed one and that'll be the end of our testing. So we hit closed, go back to Zoho, refresh the page, and look at that. The contact status has been updated to closed. And there you go. That's how you can create a workflow to automatically set the contact status based off of a call outcome from PhoneBurner, saving you valuable time and ensuring that your data is always up to date and set correctly based off of the call outcome. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video and happy dialing.